check with me first um, to see if we can get you a discount or not. Like I said, we can save you between you know, four to five thousand dollars, okay? Um, so just I just want to throw that out. That's the benefit of being a board member, okay? The next thing I want to move on to is the board of directors' uh, new profile. So we're updating. I'm working with Paul to update the website. So these are things that um, some things I'm going to need from you guys. Go out on the website, look at you know your picture, and if you don't have a picture, we're going to need a picture um, so we can update that. But the other thing is that underneath that, we can actually connect your picture um, to Facebook and all these other things. So I'm not going to go through the list, but again, you can see the different things that we can. There's a picture, and people can click on if you want to know about your Facebook or, or Twitter, whatever. So we're going to be working on that in the next you no know, month or so because that's going to help us with funding. Because what happens is that when we write a grant, they go out there and look at who's on our board. Okay, so that's and, and what they're involved in. So so check that list out, and I'll be working with you guys on that. The next thing is. Um, Meeting, I'm going to get some feedback from the board of directors. Jason couldn't be here. Um, he just texted me um, and said that he had five clients that's already contacted him on some things, so he had to do some things with the clients. So we'll move on. Um, Harold, you got about a minute, Harold, if you just can share about a minute what you've been involved with this year. Okay, good evening, everyone. Uh, this is Harold. Um, I've been involved with, uh, as a board member, just participating in some of the workshops and webinars that uh, Jeffrey has done lately uh, with uh, meeting with the Huntington uh, Learning Center, as well as uh, uh, participating in the, in the uh, webinar, the latest one being how to uh, reach people, uh, what they teach their kids as well. Uh, I've known Jeff for quite some time since our college days back at Clark Atlanta University. And uh, I got uh, interested in NYBU because of, I was impressed with his uh, desire to uh, teach kids and let them know about the importance of education, especially regarding uh, financial empowerment. Uh, I did a number of uh, workshops with him during that time. One I remember uh, primarily is one. Hello. One that I remember in particular was working with kids in money management. And what I was impressed about how he got his the parents involved as well. And Jeff, you may not remember, but it was, it was at the uh, church and you had came ill and you allowed me to go ahead and finish the course as well as participate in, in, in just the environment and the engagement that the parents as well as the students get involved in learning more about personal money management. And, uh, and they asked so many questions. It was, just, it was just great to see that, that enthusiasm. Also, there was another time where, where we uh, – worked at a library for a workshop and you uh, was teaching kids on the importance of public speaking and how to speak. And I was just so impressed with the, with the performances of the students and how they got up and just even those that were considered shy that they were able to get up and speak publicly in, in, in front of a small audience. So it's those things like that that really got me involved in YBU and to continue into the program. So I appreciate that here. Also, here was part of our first summer camp that we did with about 50 some students. Um, um, and we had kids actually from like um, six months old all the way to high school students. So it was a really crazy summer camp. Um, but moving on, I um, want to bring up um, Gene Schult. Um Gene was actually my former boss and who he was the president of, of Bankers for Daily Life Insurance Company. Gene, can you just share about a minute of what you've been involved with you know, this year with YBU from the workshops, you know, monitoring them, participating in the workshops and so forth, and, and being on some of the other calls? You're on mute, Gene. You're still on mute. Oh, there you go. Right now? Yep, we can hear you. Basically, it was an opportunity to um, talk about experiences that we had growing up, and uh, and, the, and the reason that uh, that uh, YBU is very um, valuable is because uh, when I was a kid growing up, I didn't have any uh, idea about was uh, what uh, money was and how banking was or investments were or anything. So uh, it, uh, to me, it's uh, Jeffrey's doing a great job of, of uh, laying it out 
and teaching kids what they need to know. And if they get it up front and early, they'll uh, make it an easy to go through life. I'm Please. sorry, Jeffrey, my voice is not That's very okay. Appreciate that, Gene. And Gene is actually with our fourth board member, you guys. So he was actually our fourth board member. So we're going to move on to Michael Green. Um, um, uh, Mr. Green. Good evening, everyone. Hold on one second. I want to plug in so I don't lose some battery life. Um, I am um, a business teacher on the high school level. I teach entrepreneurship in DeKalb County. Um, and I've been uh, working alongside with uh, Jeffrey for a number of years. Uh, he's brought a, a wealth of knowledge and experience to my classrooms um, and our program as a whole. Uh, we have three business teachers and a large career technology department at the school that I teach at, uh, which is Cross Keys High School. Um, so he's able to venture out beyond the business program and into our other fields, uh, engineering, construction, nursing, cosmetology. Um, we have all of those technical based um, programs at our school. And I also um, work along with um, a couple other partners to bring um, competition to the classroom in the form of something similar to Shark Tank. Um, it's a capstone project that our kids go through where they learn each step of building a business and the culmination of it all is to present this to advisors, uh, to business people um, in hopes of winning cash prizes uh, to either spend on college prep or even to use that money to actually invest in their business ideas. So um, I'm uh, grateful and, and honored to be part of this group here. And um, we're going to be doing some big things once we go back to face-to-face -face learning. Right now we're, um, you know, uh, striving through this uh, virtual learning piece. Uh, we still have a handful of kids that are still engaged, uh, still want to start their own businesses now more than ever, really, um, because now they see that the uh, typical jobs aren't guaranteed like they used to be for their parents and, and generations past. So there's still a hunger out there and uh, we, we aim to uh, tap into it and uh, get those kids on the right track to uh, success. So appreciate that. One of the things to you guys that we've actually sponsored program for Ms. Mr. Green and giving students gift cards and everything. So like when I be asking for donations and all that, we're actually giving back to the students, you guys, um, regarding that. Um, and we've been doing that for many, many years. Um, Want to move on to um, um, Cindy Bryant. Um, Cindy Bryant was actually the first person to get us into the DeKalb school system. Um, and I actually grew up with her. Um, we, we go back away. So Ms. Bryant. Hi, um, I'm Cynthia Bryan. I'm a retired teacher from DeKalb County. I've been retired for about a year now. Um, kind of miss teaching, but uh, we'll move on. <laughs> Jeffrey first came to our school prior to um, 2015 and made presentations to my classes. He would greet the students at the door as they came in. He was always impeccably dressed. He would make these presentations to my classroom. The students were very engaged. Um, he would come and make impromptu visits sometimes just to make sure that they remembered things like how to do elevator speech and were um, still focused on their career goals and how to apply to colleges. He worked with our FBLA chapter one year. Um, they had so much involvement in that chapter, they were able to get a grant and raise enough money to give back to the community to an organization called Chris Kids and give a sizable donation to that organization and also take them to Stars and Strikes for a day of just fun and food and relaxing and fellowship. I appreciate that, Ms. Bryant. Um, um, do you have something else? Oh, yeah, I was just going to say okay. how, you know, they appreciate you so much. They ended up calling you, you know, the money man when they would see <laughs> you in the hall. Um, <laughs> and then he also spoke to other classes in the career tech department gave um, assembly type presentations to the entire school, brought the NFL Alumni Association in to speak to our students, 
every single year and the students really appreciated that. And he's just been giving back and giving back and we can't tell you how much we appreciate you, Jeffrey. Appreciate that. And again, that's another school that has that different program where we fund it. So gift cards and giving kids money and all that, providing food. We did that. I want to move on. Um, I think Dr. Mills, on, I, I, I didn't have her on the agenda, but I do want her to speak out because she's a part of the career tech, agriculture, and education and workforce learning. So Dr. Mills, are you on still? If you can just give a minute. Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me though? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, Jeffrey, we go back. I, too, uh, work alongside Ms. Bryant. We were in the same uh, school there in DeKalb County, and, of course, we shared Jeffrey uh, with our classes, and I am a work-based learning coordinator there in the county, and Jeffrey has provided uh, workstations for my students to work alongside him there, uh, him. He's also, uh, like I said, just been an excellent, excellent guest speaker. I am responsible for three schools, and he has always been nice enough to uh, accommodate me going from school to school, making sure that all my students were presented the information that he had to offer. So I truly appreciate you and uh, your organization. Appreciate that. Um, appreciate that. Mills. Next person we have is um, Megan Cook from Operation Hope. Um, um, Megan, are you there? Yes, I'm here, Jeffrey. Can okay, you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Well, good evening, everyone. I'm happy to be here. My name is Megan Cook, and I oversee the National Youth Programs at Operation Hope. Uh, Jeffrey and the Youth Branding University have um, been partnering with us for seven years. Um, we had to actually think back today to determine how long it's been because um, I, I don't remember a program before Jeffrey has been here. And when I say partner, Jeffrey and YBU have been an active partner. They, uh, Jeffrey is involved in so many of the classes we have here on the financial literacy side and the youth entrepreneurship side, and I know that a lot of that is also carrying back to YBU as well directly and the students there. Um, so it's been wonderful having um, him and YBU involved. Um, the students, he makes students feel very included in the classroom. I always know it's going to be an engaging class when we have him there. Um, we're looking forward to continuing this partnership moving into 2021. Um, and since we, since I know some of the students, I'm hoping they're still on. Um, I don't know if you do the same routine for all your classes, Jeffrey, but I know for the students in some of our classes when I've been there, um, you know, he comes in and he's got this box of Oreos with him and, you know, everyone's like, who is that walking in, you know, and he's like, you can call me Coach Jeffrey and they're like, okay, what's going on here? And, you know, he gets those Oreos out and he gets them involved in, you know, a little bit of friendly competition in the beginning and after that he's got everybody's attention. You know, that's all it takes is just playing one simple icebreaker game to get them in. Um, you know, whether they loved it, they thought it was funny or maybe a little corny, whatever it is, they all love it. They all get involved and they are ready to go with whatever he has to teach after that point. Um, so really appreciate your partnership and um, we look forward to continuing to move on and just making it bigger and better as we um, continue to each expand with the organizations. Thank you, appreciate, Jeffrey. Appreciate the Morgan again, you guys. When you guys are contributing the funding, again, we've given out you know, gift cards and other things, bought food for kids, you know, in partner with Operation Hope. And the average class size that we normally are like is like 30 to 40 students. I think we had one class that was like actually 60. I couldn't believe we actually pulled that off for, for like seven weeks. Um, the other thing that I've had one student to come out of the entrepreneurship program that actually spoke at the National Convention for Operation Hope, which is like 3,000 business people from all over the world, and they bring in President of the United States, former presidents, and all kinds of folks, and these kids get a chance to speak in front of them regarding their, their um, business. And so one of my students actually got $1,000 a part of the comp competition. So I'm excited about that. And we just partnered with the NF I mean, with the San Francisco 49ers. We did a workshop with them. and with um, um, several other organizations. I want to move on um, to um, Gary. Um, Gary actually used to work for um, Dale Carnegie. Now he's working for Sandler um, Training. So Gary's going to talk about some of the things that you've been involved with this year with YBU. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, you know, what I love about YBU is that uh, it, it understands the importance and what makes our country great, which is that American dream. 
but it's only a dream if we just talk about that. What's neat about we by YBU is it's taking what are the actions that we need to take to actually make it a reality. And that's what's exciting about um, all these classes that Jeffrey's doing and working with these kids and, and saying, well, this is what we need to do to be able to get to that dream. And, you know, Jeffrey's been doing this for a number of years. I mean, I always felt that the rocket has been built. The rocket flies. The rocket can go as far as the moon. It can probably go as far as Mars. But what it needs right now is um, fuel, rocket fuel. And so that's kind of been, you know, some of the things that Jeffrey and I have been talking about is what can you do to bring in more fuel so this thing can go to Mars. And um, so that's just some of the things we've been working on, working with the EDGE agency in and, and Huntington and uh, GoFundMe, you know, things like that. So I think that's all going to be coming uh, to fruition probably sooner rather than later. And that's really exciting. Gear, can you just really quickly, the experience that we had last, well, I think it was last year, where I came over to work with you guys at the Dale Carnegie and what happened there? Yeah, so that was a, it, what we do is Dale Carnegie puts on a class for teens, if you will. It's leadership skills for teens. And so that was kind of fun to have Jeffrey. He didn't just come to audit it. He actually, you know, if you know Jeffrey, he ain't going to just sit there and idly watch anything. He jumped in there and started helping uh, actually teach it uh, to some of those kids and, and help them, which is kind of cool. And, of course, we let him do it, which made it even better for us. So uh, I think that, too, is going to be great as he can partnership with Dale Carnegie um, and maybe even include them with some more additional leadership skills and abilities so these kids can just be outstanding. And what's neat is, you know, even if you're in middle school, uh, they absorb this stuff. They process this stuff. They can have that success just like uh, that little boy that's uh, doing that landscaping business now. Um, they don't have to wait till after they graduate. Um, and so that's what it's all about is making it happen to them now. So that way, when they are way out of sight of college and beyond, they're going to be amazing. Appreciate the gear. If you guys give me. Uh, uh, extra, and I know I said we're going to try to end on time, and, I'm, and I'm try, I was trying to really push. Um, we started just a few minutes late just trying to get everybody on, so you guys just give us an extra few minutes, but we're, we're getting close to the end. Um, and, um, so just if you guys just stay on. So, Dr. Morgan, if you can give a quick update of what you've been involved with this year. Can you all see me and hear me? Yes. Okay, cool. Perfect. So, I mean, honestly, I can't even, I don't even know where to start with YBU. I mean, I feel like I've known Jeffrey for almost two years, but I think it's only been a little bit over a year and a few months. But, I mean, the talks that we've had, we've had so many conversations about where this can go, how we can push this forward, can we get this going. And, honestly, it's all been great from the start, from the beginning. Um, this year, uh, as he was talking about earlier, with the real level up, I was actually able to get on three times and have um, have little presentations with them about fitness and health and what they can do to just better their lives right now during this whole pandemic crisis. So that was really cool. We helped um, launch virtual webinars. I think also, sorry to go back on the real level up. I think we saw in total it was close to three hundred thousand viewers that got on and that still kind of shocks me to this that's day just for you, that's but that's just for you but totally with yeah. all, everybody else close to almost eight hundred thousand. yeah i was like already that's a whole lot of people looking at my face i'm like oh man this is intense um we also helped develop five different presentations which was really cool it's all about health nutrition what you can do to take care of stress how you can just be a healthier person then we ended up uh, writing a bunch of letters out to see, hey, what can we do to have some other docs in the area to even help out with seminars? However they want to help out would be amazing. So we've kind of worked on that a little bit. And honestly, I mean, the reason why I was able to donate money to YBU and why I did is because I see the value in it. I see the integrity that, I mean, everyone calls him Coach Jeff. I mean, they don't call him Coach Jeff for no reason. The man knows what he's doing. He knows how to talk. He's got a whole lot of integrity. He knows where to go forward. We're just still helping him on. And honestly, I'm just happy to be part of all this and just to be by his side and help him out and 
If he needs help, I'm here. If he doesn't, I'm still here, man. I got you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Moving on. Um, so Sustain Planning, Dominic couldn't make it today, but I've been making with him. So eventually, you know, I'm not going to be doing this forever. And so Dominic, matter of fact, we just met about a week ago. And so we'll continue to give you guys updates on succession planning, but that's way down the line. But that's one of the things that the board brought to me last about a year ago that, hey, you know, what happens when you decide to step down and we need to plan ahead of time? Um, so more details will come in the future. Um, our, our goals um, and vision for um, 2021, I mentioned to you guys about the branding.